In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can get an 8,000 polling rate with one of these controllers right here. PlayStation 5's DualSense has firmware updates all the time on PlayStation, but the latest firmware update let you do something very, very unique, and I'm gonna go over how exactly you can utilize this if you are playing any game. But for all you FPS players, this is going to be huge because this right here is now just as fast as this mouse. And I'm gonna to explain to you why. See, up to about a few months ago, all controllers that were overclocked, we're only able to go up to a thousand polling rate, which is a one millisecond delay. Well, right now, this controller and the new firmware that came out, you guys are going to be overclocking to 8,000, which is a 0.125 millisecond delay, almost zero. Now, I know that in the past, people have clickbaited you and said zero millisecond delay with DS4. I promise you that is placebo. This is the real deal. 8,000 polling rate. So guys, follow me through with this video because I'm going to show you how exactly it's done. So first off, I'm going to take you over to this site right here, which is the actual PlayStation site where you get the update. And I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. But all you need to do is download the firmware. You're going to pop it open, hit run and install. And when you're done installing, it's going to tell you go and see, I already have it updated. So there's no reason to do it. But you know, just for the sake of doing it, bada bing, bada boom, launch. And now there's an update and hit update now and do not unplug the controller. Let it go all the way through and update the firmware. Okay, now that it's done, all we have to do is hit okay, and it is up to date. Now close that, and now we're gonna go to the next part, which is also in the description, but right here we have the Lord of Mice HID USBF, which is how we're gonna overclock the controller. So that update let us do what we're about to do here. I know this can be confusing. All you guys need to know is that if you click on this, it'll say download a zip. You're gonna hit download and pop that open. Now, we're gonna have to extract it. Um, so you hit extract all, hit extract. Boom. Now I have it open. So I'm going to just close it right here. We're going to extract one more time. Extract all. This is the hid USB F. Do not do the hid USB N. That is actually an uninstaller. So we're going to do that. And now go into driver and here's the setup. So hit run and go to all USB devices. Now you can see my overclock's already there because I did it, but we're just going to real quick set this all back to default. And you can see it's back to normal. Now controller's plugged in. Make sure you guys have it all set up. And all you want to do is hit first install service hit run open then select the rate 8000 install service run open filter on device install service run open now we're gonna unplug it and plug it back in when it pops back up you see it's already set do not undo this you're good to go though you can unplug it and plug it back in if you're wondering how to figure out which device is it it's usually gonna be an audio endpoint headset microphone wireless controller i know that sounds totally unlikely but i promise you i'll unplug Unplug this controller. I've already done it on this one right here. I'll unplug this one and plug it back in. And you can see it's going to do the same thing. Boom. There it is. There's the overclock. Now, a quick little warning for you guys if you are doing this, all right? When you change USB ports, you are going to have to do this again. So remember what USB port you are plugged into and you have to have the USB C wire, okay? It could be a USB 3.0 on the other end, but it needs to be USB C, obviously, because that is what is used. If you guys have any issues let me know down in the comment section and i'll try to help you guys out now i will say there is one thing that might come up which is uh you might get a you know error that comes up and what that means is that you're going to have to actually go into your bios and change your os to other os there are plenty of videos on how to do that if you get that error that is not something i'm able to actually film and show you guys on how to do but i promise you guys it is not as scary as it sounds but i hope you guys got the competitive edge that you were looking for if you did hit that like button and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.